Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am only gonna be eating the cheapest items from the drive-thru. It is Monday morning, happy Monday everyone. I have just been around the Tim Hortons drive-thru and I have just ordered all of the cheapest items on the menu. I really wanted to do this video because I recently did one where I ordered the most expensive items and if you haven't seen that already, maybe go and give that a watch because my God, my most expensive takeaway that I ordered was 80 pounds, which is actually fucking wild. How was one meal 80 pounds so weirdly i'm quite looking forward to this video because it's going to be significantly cheaper than the other one like i said i have just been around the tim hortons drive through tim hortons is up first and my total order for breakfast come to six pounds 98 so i got a french vanilla latte which was three pounds 79 which was like the cheapest cold drink on there i had to get vanilla in it otherwise it was just going to be a complete waste it might have been a little bit cheaper if i didn't get that but like i said i didn't want to waste the drink so i actually just i had to put vanilla in it. I got a hash brown, which was 50p. I got a sausage and egg McMuffin, which is coming up at 50p, and an old fashioned glazed donut for £2.19. How on earth is my sausage and egg McMuffin 50p? I think there's some sort of like breakfast deal that Tim Hortons do where there is where when you buy a drink, you get breakfast for a pound. So I actually just got my actual breakfast meal for one pound. So my total order, like I said, come to £6.98. I've got my order here. That is my donut. So I'm going to have that after. But here is my McMuffin. In. Have I had a Tim Hortons McMuffin before? I don't know, maybe. I'm gonna have to take the egg out because I just absolutely hate the egg that like fast food places do. I think it's just gross. I don't know why. I don't know where to put that. I'm just gonna put that on the napkin. A lot of people are probably thinking, oh my God, what a breakfast. But like, this is my go-to. I love this. Mm. Oh, that is yummy. Mm -mm -mm. I need to buy stuff to make McMuffins with at home because a McMuffin is such an underrated breakfast. I love it. Mm, this is so good. I'm really intrigued to see if I prefer the food from this video or the most expensive one because the reason I'm doing these videos is to show that like it, you don't always have to spend the most money to be able to get really good quality stuff. And to me, I mean, I know I didn't do a breakfast item last time, but like that is so nice for a pound with the hash brown. I already knew that I loved Tim Hortons hash browns. A little bit of salt on that would be 10 10. It's a lovely hash brown there. And my iced vanilla latte, which is absolutely massive. Mm, which is actually really yummy. Ice lattes are really growing on me. And you know what's really growing on me? Matcha. Something about matcha. They set it downstairs now in my building. And I had a blueberry matcha because I don't like normal matcha. There's something about that that I really can't gel with. I've got something in my eye. But blueberry matcha, I can really get behind. And for some reason, I'm just really starting to like like ice drinks. Like Callum made an iced coffee the other day. And I tried some of it and I was like, oh, it's actually really nice. I don't know whether my taste buds are changing. And I'm starting to like coffee. Not hot coffee, but like ice lattes. Yeah, this is growing up. I'm starting to like coffee, I think. That's lovely. I can't believe how big that is as well. I have another bite of this. Mmm. That like muffin's so nice because it's not greasy at all. Okay. Donut. I think. Oh no. I was going to say in my recommended fast food drive through video. I've done so many drive through videos recently I'm losing track. I had a donut but I thought it was this one but it wasn't. Oh my goodness. It's got like cinnamon or like some sort of like brown sugary spice thing on the donut. Do I like it? I don't know. I can't tell if I like it or not. I don't know if I like that. I don't hate it, but I just feel like you can't beat an original glaze from Krispy Kreme. Like that is just 10, 10 up there. I am going to rate this Tim Hortons meal a nine out of 10, which is a really a strong start, but for the price and how much food I got, like this is just perfect to me. And I cannot believe the size of this iced vanilla latte. I think that is incredible. So yeah, I'm going to have to give this a nine out of 10 and for £6.98. Nowadays at a drive through to get a good meal for that is like rare. So I'm pretty buzzing with that. I can't Okay, let's move on. Next one, KFC. Next up is KFC. The hats don't actually have branded bags. It's just a brown bag. But this order came to £8.98, which again, in comparison to the last video that I did, so much better. I'm going to have to pop on screen how much the most expensive meal was in comparison to this. But I got the cheapest meal and then I got the cheapest size just so I could really like showcase what is the cheapest. So the cheapest is in fact the rice box, which to me is now my go-to meal because I just think it's incredible. This is the zinger one and you get a salad chicken rice and oh, it's just so yummy and then on the side i got two hot wings which were the cheapest like chicken side and then all the sides were actually the same price like the coleslaw the beans the gravy so i opted for the beans which according to all of the comments on my latest youtube video are in fact barbecue beans which makes me so happy because i knew they were and when that person was telling me and my mum that they weren't like me and my mum are literally looking at each other gone out like we know they're barbecue beans let's have a little taste test i mean this is basically basically my go-to order anyway, which is amazing. But the chicken in this rice box is phenomenal, especially with the beans. So let's dip this in. 
this is such a good monday morning also guys so yesterday i picked up my contact lenses and i just have never felt happiness like it i can see and like today was my first time driving with them in and i was looking around i'm still looking around everything like this is crazy like i honestly can't believe how perfect i can see the world i'm just loving it I'm loving my newfound lease of life mm. it's been a little bit cold that's the only thing they would have been so much nicer if they were warm but yeah so i got my contact lenses it took me about 15 minutes to get them in my eyes again this morning but that's okay and last night i could not get my contact lenses out and luckily molly ellie and byron were at mine and molly had no problem with sticking her fingers in my eyes and getting my contact lenses out because when i was doing it i was opening my eye but then when your finger goes in your eye my knee jerk reaction is to move my pupil and obviously that's where the contact is so i had to get molly to do it don't really know what i'm gonna do tonight i might have to get callum to do it obviously i need to learn how to do it but like it's just a struggle for the first couple of days i managed to do it in the shop fine but i think it's because it had been on my eye all day oh very hot oh that mexican rice though is stun bomb mm. oh this is such a good day but yeah i've literally got a whole new lease of life but she told me yesterday when she was looking at my eyes again to make sure the contacts fit and stuff she was like you've got a little bumps on your eye like she said, it's only really 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 small but it, that could indicate an allergy she was like have you got hay fever or like a dust allergy or anything and i literally thought to myself i know i've got a dust allergy and i've got my doctor's appointment tomorrow to go and get my blood tests and stuff and i just know it's going to come back with a dust allergy and i think i might now have hay fever can anybody let me know in the comments it's just so random for this video but can you develop hay fever like later on in life or like have you always had to have it do you know what i mean because i've never really suffered with it before but in the last like three four months i just have a constant runny nose like even it doesn't sound that bad but like it is it's constant and it's just so annoying so it's either dust allergy or hay fever or both but when you said that about my eyes i'm thinking yeah babe i know Mm, little hot wing hot wings are my favorite 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 chicken from kfc ever oh that is yummy i'm eating all this food this morning and then i'm actually going out for lunch molly and ellie and byron all said over at mine last night we had such a fun little sleepover honestly it was so nice like, we were constantly laughing woke up this morning the girls are going to get their hair done whilst i film and then we're gonna drive over to altrincham and we're gonna have a nice little day out in altrincham and we're gonna go to this restaurant where they sell the nicest sushi today is all about food monday is all about eating good and this rice box is 10 10 so i'm loving how cheap this is as well to me like this is so much nicer than that other kfc meal that i had in the other video that was like nearly double the price i would much rather get this and the tim hortons overall i'm actually going to give this kfc order a 10 out of 10 because eight pound 98 this is exactly what i would want you get such a big portion size and it just doesn't feel as greasy it just feels a bit healthier which i really like so for me yeah i'm gonna have to give this kfc a 10 out of 10 so far the price comparison and the taste comparison in this video is actually crazy because i'm way preferring the taste of everything thing that i've had in this video so far so it just goes to show you don't have to spend money to get good food at these like fast food places and we're still eat this and then we're gonna go to our next one which is gonna be burger king and we are at Burger King for the cheapest meal here. I didn't actually get a full meal because I've literally been going back to back to back at the drive throughs and I don't want to waste food. But this is like the cheapest singular item from like the main meal menu. And it is the Chicken Royale Burger and it was £6.19. If I was going to get this as a meal, I think it was £8 something. I'll pop the like right amount on screen. But like I said, I didn't want to get a drink because I've already got my ice vanilla latte, which is low-key loving. I'm trying not to drink it too fast because I really need the toilet. But it is gorgeous so now let's try this burger i'm not sure if i've ever tried one of these before i always forget if i actually have because i've tried so many fast food items in videos across the years that i just don't remember what i've tried and what i haven't i like the shape of this burger though very fun Mm. it doesn't taste too far off the zinger chicken that i just had in that kfc rice box the only thing with this is i feel like the chicken would be a lot nicer if it had a different batter on because the batter just tastes like i can't explain it but the batter's not great the more i get into it with the more mayo and the more lettuce i'm enjoying it but i'm really undecided it's not screaming at me like oh this is an amazing burger but i also don't hate it but i just feel like you could get like a mayo chicken from other fast food restaurants for a lot cheaper than what this is like six pound 19 for a singular burger even though it is big it's a lot but i don't know i think i'd give this like a six out of ten like i said i wouldn't be jumping at the burger king drive through to go and get this again but i'm also not against it i'm now gonna have a break from the fast food drive throughs and i'm gonna go out with the girls and byron and callum and then when i get back i'm actually gonna order from domino's because i really want to get the pizza wraps and i'm so excited to try them all i actually had one the other night in my vlog and it is just the perfect thing to put in this video so yeah i'm gonna leave it a couple of hours and then we'll head back and we can try some domino's
It's actually not later that day, it is in fact several days later. I have not been very well at all and to be honest, as you can probably still hear in my voice, I am really not well. I have lost my voice completely this morning. I had some vocal zone and it has slightly brought it back but like it's on the verge of going again so once I film this clip I am on voice rest. But for the last place I wanted to try it is Domino's. Now I actually did the most expensive item from Domino's which was a pizza but it was actually I don't know if it was gluten free or if it was plant based I'm pretty sure it was plant based pizza and it was something ridiculous like 24 or 27 99 like it was so expensive so this time I have got all of the cheapest items on the menu now the cheapest items on the menu are actually the pizza wraps and I had one of these for the first time a couple of weeks ago once I got back from a concert and they are £3.99 I honestly think these are the best valued items that Domino's do I mean don't get me wrong they are pretty small they are literally this size but that is kind of like the perfect size for me so I really really enjoy these I got one Texas barbecue one and I got one pepperoni one although it doesn't actually say which one is which so I'm just gonna have to take a bite into both and see I also did get the cheapest side and the cheapest dessert as well but let's open this it looks like everywhere the garlic and herb dip is just dreamy taste test number one this is the pepperoni one. I haven't actually tried this one before. I'll be honest, I can't really taste it because a lot of that was just like pizza base. Let's have another bite. No. Oh my. Guys, that was not cute. I've actually got some of it on my jumper. And there's some there. Why am I wearing white today? Oh my God, but the pizza's really good, but it's very juicy. As you can see, I've been obsessed with, oh my God, I cannot believe that. I've been obsessed with watching those mukbangs on TikTok. I don't know if anybody's seen them. Of Raising Cane's where they get like a cup full of sauce. Like I'm talking about like a large cup full and just put way too much on the chicken and bite and eat it in silence. I love them. Mm, this is really good. I think I might actually prefer the Texas barbecue one. I think it's because I actually just prefer barbecue based pizza as a whole, which I think is why I way prefer the Texas barbecue one. Mm, 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 mm. That is honestly, it just tastes like a normal pizza. But for 3 99 I would much rather have a pizza wrap than like a £28 pizza. The only annoying thing is you can't actually change or add anything to the wraps. I don't know if it's because they're pre-made or anything, but I would normally like change the Texas barbecue pizza. That is the only thing that kind of annoying, but other than that, for 3 99 in time. And then the cheapest side was actually fries. And again, these were 3 99 So I don't think actually, no, I do something very expensive. I don't think it's awful, but it's still very expensive for a portion of chips. Mm, they're just chips, aren't they? They're very bland. There's nothing on them, so they are very, very bland. For dessert. Now, the cookies are actually the most expensive thing on the menu, but I actually decided to get the cream egg versions because I wanted to try something a little bit different for you guys, but you actually only get two in here if you get the cream egg ones instead of four, but I think there's like half a cream egg in each cookie because I can see it like melting through that one, so let's have a bite. Oh, oh my goodness. No words. Look at all of the white goo coming out. Oh my god. That is elite. I honestly do think this actually might be my favourite from the entire video. It's so funny because from doing this video, comparing it to the most expensive items, I genuinely do just prefer these cheap items. I mean, apart from the chips, I probably would opt for wedges over chips because I think they just taste more like Domino's. Like I class wedges with Domino's rather than fries. But the pizza wraps, those cookies, I just ultimately think overall I way prefer this order and this was literally less than half the price of one pizza that I got in the expensive video I really hope this video has actually shown you that you don't need to spend loads of money on a meal at a fast food place for it to actually be good and I really hope it has given you some new ideas on things that you can maybe try especially the Domino's wraps if you're gonna try anything you need to try one of those other than that I really hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please smash a huge thumbs up I am about to go on vocal rest for the rest of the day and have a vocal zone tablet every two hours. I was going to say every two minutes. No, I won't be doing that every two hours. And I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of my lunch. But I will see you very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye.